Hi, I'm Diane Conklin with CompleteMarketingSystems.com. Are you thinking about niching your business? What's the best niche for you to get into? Well, here's <laughs> niching simply means that you take a, a, an area, a subculture, a group, and you look at them and that's who your market is. So you narrow focus in, narrow focus in, narrow focus in on who you're going to talk to. For most of us, if we look at niching what we're doing, it gets, our business gets easier because it's easier to find clients, it's easier to uh, talk specifically within the genre or within the language of that partic those particular uh, people in that niche or subculture. So if you're thinking about a niche, here's the, the thing. Think about it from the perspective of where is there a group that you already belong to, that you are one of them? Sometimes we call this an us <laughs> it's, it's just insider language, I guess. So where, who are you that you could go out and talk to people because you know their language, because you are one, you're a member of that group, okay? Um, and by the way, although women is a niche, or niche, depending on how you say it, it's too broad, it's too big, okay? So maybe you look at, you're looking at women executives who are looking at getting out of the corporate environment. That's a much more narrow focus niche. And maybe you even have an age limit or group that you're looking at within there. Here's the other thing that happens. I know several people who have never been in the niche that they're teaching. Um, I have a business associate in the red who teaches restaurant owners how to build their businesses. He's never owned a restaurant. I have another business associate who um, teaches doctors how to build their practices, doctors and dentists. Never been a doctor or a dentist. I have a, another business associate who chiro teaches chiropractors how to build their practices. Never been a chiropractor. Um, I have a guy who uh, is in the auto repair business. He's never owned an auto repair shop. He probably doesn't even know how to change his own oil, right? That's a little more difficult, especially if you're starting out. Now, if you're somebody who's been, who's run their own business and you're marketing and, and you, you've got things down, it's a little easier to go into a niche where you don't have the background. But again, there's a big learning curve if you do that. You've got to learn the language, you've got to get in, you've got to know what the organizations are and where these people hang out. So what area of your life do you, is there an easy way for you to add a niche think about it write some things down right do you enjoy crocheting are you a quilter are you a runner are you somebody who loves dogs um, you know are you a groomer who's also a woman who's a runner maybe there's some niche involved in that the more focused you can be in your niche area, the easier it will be for you to target and niche down into areas that will make sense, that you can profit with very, very quickly. So think about the areas that you already belong to or where you already are one and look at that as a niche area in your business. If you'd like more information on niching or anything business or marketing strategy related, check us out. We're at CompleteMarketingSystems.com.